the Revised Common Lectionary is, is a help in the sense that um, you, you do have a serial story of some sort going on um, during those, especially in those summer months. So you, you've actually got some possibilities just implicit in those stories. Uh, but the other thing, I remember one year, um, I actually I did it a couple of times, but one year in particular, I decided I was just going to preach on Daniel. Now, that probably wasn't in the lectionary that year, but I decided I'm going to just preach from the book of Daniel. So I, I did, and um, I did it too long. You don't, don't want to do it. I think I did it like 12 weeks or something. And I remember I was taking our, our oldest, our youngest, our oldest daughter to, she was riding with me to church on one Sunday, and uh, I'd been preaching on Daniel, and she, I don't know, she was probably 10. She said, is Daniel going to be dead yet? <laughs> I realized I probably had worn Daniel out. But the notion of doing kind of a serial or a series of sermons around a biblical character and take them from their birth to their death and all the twists and turns. I mean, you do get King David one year. <laughs> well, that's a soap opera waiting to be preached. I mean, you know, I mean, you've got this incredible guy who reaches the height and the depth, um, which sounds very human, actually. Um, and, and, and we lift him up, I mean, to lift up those lives. Ruth and Naomi pop up um, another year. Um, I mean, so there really are some serial possibilities that help you begin to look at how does, how did God interact and interface and relate to very normal human beings in the ancient world? And, and what was the word that might have popped up in their time and that might still pop up in ours?